Mm. So, because the first one they ever did that black panel, which is now they do one every day this year. Yeah, black um, panel on Sunday. Except for this year, brother got to go to church. You know? <laughs> 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 brother got stuff. Dude, brother got to go to mama's house. It's actually a weird crew this year. <laughs> but anyway, and the black panel on a Sunday. Just say it. It's the first panel that sticks out for you on Sunday. Um, I believe it's on Sunday if I'm reading the schedule correctly, but the Expanse panel looks like it's on Sunday. Is that nice. Cool? Yeah? There's a lot of TV stuff on Sunday that looks Dude, really good. The Expanse is so good. Just finished it. Has anyone else bothered to watch that? I haven't seen all of it yet, but I like what okay. I see. Get behind it, because here's the deal. Sci-fi is trying to unbrand from their whole depravity of... Yeah. The 2000s, uh, yeah. and they're trying to like make good shows, and this is kind of their answer to Game of Thrones. It's based off of a book series, and it's very slow, very political. And uh, the first season was mind blowing. A little bit of bleh at from a couple actors, but you're like, you know, I, I like what they're trying to do. I, I I just think that you know we're gonna just be taking shows and stuff from the Space Channel in Canada. We at least film a few things here in America, get with a few things that we're trying to do on the side. I'm not, I'm not trying to be anti completely what they're doing, but this is getting to be a, you know, same song, different radio station. Jason. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Jason. Yes. Now, you have survived uh -oh. two days walking around this convention with Rick. She has not killed you yet. <laughs> She's going to give you a chance to go to see your panel. Maybe. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Where's, okay, let me, let, me, let me rephrase the question. Where's Brittany Dragon to you choose Sunday morning? <laughs> John Carpenter, uncut. Is that there? No, oh, no. You know what I would end up being at? The Buffy musical, once more with... And, feeling. of course, I was going to have Alexis talk about that, and she had the, she had the jet, because she's a working actress. If, but, if there was... One thing that was the worst thing in the universe, it's that episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> really? You're going to say that now? I am. Mike's, Mike's right. Brittany's not here, and neither is Alexis. So he can get away with it. I can get away with it. <laughs> oh, notice how your shoulders don't fear, don't hurt from being hit right now. Like, you can say things. Because every guy sitting in this room is flinching for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's probably where I would end up, but I think... If there's anything related to the Army of Darkness or uh, Ash vs. Evil, there Dead, is. There, there is. you go. Yes. That's, yes. That is what I want. The fact that Lee Majors is playing the dad. Yes. The guy from The Night the Reindeer Died. Yes. Which, why is that not a movie in real life? I do not know. I would write it, and it would win all the Academy Awards. <laughs> <laughs> is that it with you and Lee Majors? Out of everything this guy has done, it's the night the reindeer died. Um, yes! So, I mean, yes, he was the a unknown so stuntman that made Eastwood look so fine, but <laughs> could you imagine? Could you yeah, imagine? What, what else was he in, though? I, I'm hearing noises in my head. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> but if that if that's going on, that's where I would definitely be. and she would be there too. She loves that show. She loves all of it. She would awesome. She would uh, think that's like the greatest thing ever. How good are you? Because he's still he's still looking. He's still he's looking. looking. Um. Ah, uh, see, this day actually has so much that I would There's go to, still a lot on but I can't. Like I, I would have to. I'd have to come down to you. plain Munchkin. Like I would have to go to that. Like that's my game. I'd have to play that, and then I'd probably. <laughs> but I, I think I can do. I can go to Sailor Moon, and do that at the same time because it's. I haven't watched it since the reboot, um, and I want to watch the reboot and everything. So, Sandy, I've got three. I just. I would never be able to narrow down. We've got Sherlock. Yes. We've got Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and we have Avatar: The Last Airbender. And let me point out, that's the Nickelodeon show, not Actually, the stupid that, movie by M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> isn't that uh, the, le the Legend and the Legacy? And they actually cover, like... It's everything? the... they have It's a two-part thing. They have one on Saturday, one on Sunday, right. and it's Avatar The Last, End, Last Airbender and Legend of Korra. Nice. Can we just talk about the fact that there's a Lost panel, and it is 2016, and we need to move on? on. Oh, God, yeah. It's, wow. Well, it's their... It's their it, if you've ever listened to their podcast, it, it is a thing. It's it's about 
it's not about lost really anymore. It's, it's about all it's, the people whose lives are emotionally stunted. Well, no, it, <laughs> <laughs> it says lost fans unite with Jay and Jack, and that sounds an awful because lot like a support group. The, <laughs> <laughs> be their, their podcast was one of the most popular podcasts when Lost was on. And it became this thing at Comic Con, and then they came back and did a reunion after, and they did they talked about stuff that wasn't lost, and then mm, you know okay. you've got things that the Lost writers are doing, like you know Once Upon a Time, all the other mm. stuff that they, they still talk about, they still go into, and it's, so it's not about Lost anymore, but it's that community that, that Lost brought together, which you know. One of my so Lost did shows. something yeah. good. Lost did a lot of great things. I don't know what you're talking about. Forget the whole third season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a lot of lonely people Forget something whole, to do. Like, six seasons, <laughs> hey, hey now, Tyler. Uh, yeah, there's a couple. Uh, I thought I heard you say earlier like John Bauer been canceled. No, no, he didn't. I, I would, actually, oh. he's already been there. Constant. Cause oh, okay, okay. He's okay. he's hanging out with me now on Sundays. We can't go to his panel. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to hang it out. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Fox yeah. trying on those new heels. No, I'm not <laughs> still hanging out. It's really crazy. He's going to try the skirt first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Right. Uh, I know you're so hanging. There's, <laughs> there's his panel, and then there is the uh, anime fairy tale. There's their panel as well right. later on. So. The one I now, know. John and, and Brandon, correct me if I'm wrong. The name of his panel is Anything Goes with John Barrett. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it, it literally means Anything Goes. goes. He's done these panels. So all don't bring over your the place. kids. Oh, no, no, no. Which Sunday's <laughs> supposed to be kid friendly, but it's still, it's proper. It's, it, Barrowman will do whatever you ask him. I mean, you can ask him just you, random stuff. It doesn't matter. Barrowman will answer your questions. And sometimes in the most extreme, off kilter, hilarious way. You know what I'd ask him? Because he's done something that I, I'm so jealous of. Put on heels? He went and did a panel in London with all of the captains. And put it, pulled it off. Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine mediating that? Yes. I would not be able to actually talk with some of those. <laughs> That's the reason why they don't have you. They have you. <laughs> and, and it was actually a, a great panel. He did ask a lot of amazing questions. That, That's And he right. actually got them all to the answer. Because, you know, some of those guys don't. Avery Brooks is not always... I mean, I love Avery, but he doesn't always even want to deal with Star Trek. Barrowman is, is great. If you've ever, like, if you follow him on Facebook and Twitter and stuff like that... I actually do follow him on Twitter. He, he is great. He loves to just do these, like, live chats in the middle of cons. Places. He did one with uh, some of the Aerocast in a hot tub. <laughs> he did! That was absolutely great. But he, he is, he's, not, he's not somebody who has, you know, this... This is, I'm a public fi- fi- uh, figure filter, and I'm a you know regular person on the side. He is it's always, all John. It's all always John, yep. whether you're where you're at with him. So it's great. I love that. Did I, did I do you, Larry? Did you, did you, did you, did you, did you I was talking about John Burrowman. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I did not answer your question yet about what panel. Okay. So the Jet, Jet Kirby tribute panel. Yep. I, it, Who Kirby's, want to see that? Yeah, Kirby's one of the greatest of all time comic book creators. Mm-hmm. Yep, he is. He's he's the man that built Marvel Comics. Correct. Okay, so um, the Kong trailer Ow. came out yesterday. Uh, anybody else excited oh. slash interested in this massive monster universe that they're building? Because apparently that's a new franchise too. The 2014 Godzilla is going into this Kong. And we're going to have Kong versus Godzilla. Mm-hmm. I, I am that. excited. I am very excited. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm just not. I'll be honest. Like, every time you mention Kong or Godzilla, I'm I just, feel kind of like that I just, just want to sit in my switch. bathtub and smash action figures together. <laughs> 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 if it's not guys in suits on, like, play cities, then it's not. It's not <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be that. Like, I want them to publish, like, just put all this publicity out, and then you get in there and it's just Man, cardboard just... cutouts about <laughs> four, four and a half foot tall. All, all I want to know is, are the Pacific Rim Jaegers going to show up? Because then yeah, I'm really in. They're in to- like, it's, a, it's, it's a possibility. I have so in a monster we can throw together, in this. Right? We're just... <laughs> they are doing Pacific Rim. Right? Right? They are. They ever get it done? They've been working on it forever. Well, they announced it's the it's the the guy from the John Boyega. English. Yeah, John John Boyega. Yeah, I can never remember his last name. We've been t- talking about this since we started our show. No, they they started production, then they stopped for a while, and now they're back at it. Plus, that's nothing compared to Avatar. Yeah. I mean, come on. We're looking at seven years that they've been saying this Avatar sequence is going to happen. There's still three movies coming out. <laughs> 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 With Stephen Lang. I Lane, care less about sense. all three of them. Oh, I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so, um, well, look. 
we all know that it's hard to say goodbye for an event like this, but, you know, it's necessary. you got places to go, lots of travel, lots of geek stuff to clean up. Anyway, um... <laughs> Maybe that will. <laughs> I had to go there, didn't I? <laughs> Seriously, though, uh, for me personally, it would just be... I would hit the dealer's room again. Mm. You know, yeah. I, would, yeah. I would try to find me some good deals out of what little was We have left. done this on Sunday more than once. Yes, everybody has. If you've and, ever been and, to a convention and you know what you're doing, you know hitting the dealer's room on Sunday, you hope to be able to find Fanatics and the fan actually did a con in Cape Girardeau this year. Left there, woke up Sunday morning. We had money because we didn't do anything. We were too busy working. Mm. And yet still found a way to leave this con, bro. Right. When I, I had gas money to go home on on Sunday. And I don't yet, know about you. I did a lot of shopping at Cape Con this <laughs> year. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, um, uh, uh, updates. You got, got anything new for us? Anything uh, else? Just look. Uh, they're still releasing a lot of trailers. My advice to anybody listening to this right now is just go online uh, it, we it, watched a bunch of trailers earlier, uh, and I'm excited. Well, 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 we need to watch new Star Trek trailer. I definitely want to okay, watch Okay, so Trek here's the title and everything. So. Okay. Discovery. Discovery. Discovery, yes. Uh-huh. That's what I said. I'm, I'm, ex- I'm excited yep. about it. Okay. I'm excited about it. What else? What, uh, anybody see anything that just stood out as hilarious or funny for Sunday? There's so, there's so much on Sunday. And Sunday is. Like I said, traditionally Sunday has been just kind of a lazy, fun day. You can make fun of other people like Brandon and wander around in the days. <laughs> well, I, I see there's a uh, Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends panel. And having grown up in the late 70s and early 80s, I love Spider-Man and his Amazing Friends. And, and I go back and rewatch it, and they're terrible. But the introduction of Firestar and, and just... I've never so, liked that character. Uh, I would... I, I've always had they a thing for it, but I like redheads. So. They so screw up so much. <laughs> 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 so if Haley had more better hair, you'd be like... Oh my gosh. Don't, don't even don't don't even know, go there. Don't, don't joke. Don't <laughs> joke. Don't joke. <laughs> Brandon. Um, you know what? I would have been... Uh, there been some really interesting... One of the things I found interesting, and, and I forgot to mention this when the license was here, but uh, the... The staff at Comic this year's Comic Con has had this marriage with librarians. This has just been mm-hmm. amazing, uh, uh, and I'm a huge supporter of, of the whole institution of having a library. In fact, Flanks and the Fan is going to be at Library Con. Uh, is that next month? It's in August. Yes, it's in August. Uh, which we love, Library Con. Woo! Library Con. <laughs> uh, no, Haley Atwell is not going to be at Library Con. Mm-hmm. Big giant but, door. I thought Valerie told me she was going to be there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, Valerie is going to be there, but not Haley. Oh, okay. Go on, Brian, Brandon. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the Control your friend. The, the Animaniacs <laughs> Live the panel looks like it'd be live. Oh, come so on. It would be Animaniacs yeah. rock. It's, uh, that's great. And then there's a uh, there's actually a Markiplier Comics panel that I have to go. Yeah. Yes. yes. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't Dark Horse have an anniversary this year? And they were supposed to be at San Diego? Somebody? Anybody? Yes. Yeah. They were. Yeah. They yeah. canceled. They canceled. 30th anniversary. How do you cancel your 30th anniversary? Easy. Cancel the 30th anniversary. <laughs> does, it, does, it, does it mean we're canceling? Getting, getting, getting if, if, if it's between, you know, having a 30th anniversary or losing all your money going to Comic Con. I think someone just didn't <laughs> want to admit that they were turning 30. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm still well, 29. Just, okay. They could have just put in the title 29. Now, anniversary. Yeah. Um, Keith, are, are, aren't you a, are you a Dark Horse fan? I like some Dark Horse, but I mean, for the most part, you know. They're aliens. The comics were great back oh, in the 80s. Oh, okay. Like, <laughs> well, you stop that for a moment. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> aliens produce so comics? Oh, yeah. yeah. they're Star Jason Wars comics, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, they actually, I actually, yeah. I, I've oh, read oh, some oh, of the Star Wars stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. There's some really great uh, Star Wars stuff. Right. I think and they produce anything, just about everything good that I've ever read that wasn't Marvel or DC has been Dark Horse. Right. Yeah. Actually, I, I, I can think. I haven't read much image. Come to think of it, it's mostly been Dark Horse. So yeah. Like Every time that I'm just like, well, I wonder who did this. It's always Dark Horse. Always. Every time. <laughs> uh, breaking news: Gotham season three trailer has officially been released. Oh yeah. Who else is looking forward to that show just continuing to be the awesomeness that it is? 
that yeah, that maybe. show is is my not Netflix show Daredevil. I mean that's that's one sh- that's that's another show that I don't think has done any real wrong for me. There's been no part of that that I just absolutely hated. Uh,